Uh, welcome, everyone. A lot of people. I didn't expect that many. So maybe everyone's hungry and thinking about pizzas and coming to this presentation. Uh, my name is Raymond. It's pronounced Nysen in Dutch. Um, let's move on with the presentation. Actually, I, I don't really have a structure in the presentation. I have some slides, I have some things to say, and I will just uh, go on until I'm finished. Um, I hope it's pretty soon, and if you don't have too many questions, we can go to the lunch line early and be in the front. Who is in favor of that? No, yes? Okay, let's go. Um, so I'm Raymond, and I'm a freelancer in open source, a contributor to QGIS since 2011, I think, was my first uh, Hackfest or contributor meeting. And I'm the, the chairman or the president of the QGIS user group in the Netherlands. I'm an OSGO charter member. Easter eggs. Um, I thought they were not so famous, but suddenly yesterday morning in the Anita's presentation, there were Easter eggs and there were pizzas and I didn't know about that. Um, Easter eggs are, are hidden features in software. So it's when developers think that it would be fun to make like a small thing that maybe adds something funny or uh, sometimes they put their own names there so you can figure out who are the developers uh, of, of a piece of software. Many software uh, desktop programs mostly have some kind of funny thing. If you look for them on the internet, you will find what to do. I remember in Excel a long time ago, you had to go to cell 100, um, A100 or something, and write something funny there, and then um, a pinball game would start, or I don't know. Um, QGIS has a few of them. Um, oh, this is the, the Wikipedia explanation of the Easter eggs. Um, and they are written in the coordinate bar. We are going to do this later. I will just first finish my slides, otherwise I have to go to QGIS and back to the uh, presentation up and down, and it takes forever. Um, you can write words there and something will happen. And the three ones that I will be using during, uh, during the demo are worlds, hackfest, and contributors. Uh, we'll do that later. And there are many more and you can figure it out. So what is a contributor meeting? Um, contributor meetings are uh, the places where um, where the, the developers or people that contribute to QGIS, that make QGIS, come together and, um, I don't know, work together on the software. They hardly ever meet each other. And uh, then once or twice per year, they go to a certain location and they sit together, they work all day. It looks like a bunch of nerds with laptops. I will soon show a, a picture of that. Um, they used to be called Hackfest, but at some point was not allowed anymore because it sounds like we were hacking the bank or whatever. So then they turned into developer meetings. And then we also wanted to, uh, people that are not developers to feel welcome to the, to the uh, meetings. Uh, so now they are contributor meetings, which is super long and hard to pronounce, I would say. So they're still called Hackfest by the people going there. And Therefore, the Easter egg is also called Hackfest. Um, they're super important because of meeting sometimes, humans meeting each other is a good thing, and to sit together to discuss things, not on a mailing list, but just on a table and having a coffee with it or a glass of beer and figure out what should be the future of QGIS. Um, they're also very productive because you are away from your normal work and desk and you sit down in a room and you can have dedicated time for, uh, for developing or for working on QGIS. Uh, and they're fun because you go to a certain place like Bratislava or Nurebo, Nurebo, <laughs> or Nurebo, Nurebo in Denmark. Um, or anywhere else, you know the names of the, the versions of QGIS. Those are the places where people have been to, together and worked on, on QGIS. So there are some nice and exotic ones, I think. Um, in Vienna was one, the last one in 2023. Uh, and 
tomorrow uh, until Friday will be uh, a, a contributor meeting, a hackfest, in the Bratislava. Now, it looks like this. This was the, the one in Seto Gombos uh, in the Netherlands. Um, so, yeah, people sit together and there are plugs and there's uh, Wi-Fi and there's coffee and, and there's time to work. And uh, people are sharing, sitting together, showing each other things that they've been working on, uh, asking each other, like, hey, should I do it this way or another way? Uh, teaching each other. Um, yeah, it's just like that. Here's one more. Um, and this is maybe my most important slide. No pizzas involved yet, right? Um, if you want to join one of the meetings, and I hope you want, and you are super close to it, right? Because you are already in the right location, and it's starting, I would say, hours from now, tomorrow morning. So um, if you are able to stay a bit longer in Bratislava, uh, feel welcome to go to the contributor meeting and um, meet with the people, ask what you can do. Uh, there's really tons of things that need to be done that don't have anything C++ programming involved. Um, I made a short list, but yesterday Anita had a super long list, and I think even there could be more, more items. You can also come up with your own idea that you think would be super good for QGIS. Um, and as I said, they are fun, so I really hope you, uh, you will feel welcome. The last one uh, contributor meeting I went was in Vienna, which was a officially OSGO code sprint that was also kind of turned into a QGIS uh, contributor meeting. And um, I, I went there and it was nice and it looked again like a bunch of nerds with laptops sitting together and, and Wi-Fi and coffee. Um, and there was a, a I thought, what should I work on? And there was an annoyance because there's something in QGIS that, uh, that I don't like. And um, that is uh, uh, the Easter egg for contributor meetings. That's called Hackfest. And the one for, um, what is it? Contributors. Yes, that is contributors. Um, and I will show you in a second. There was a social event. And there's this thing. I just finished my presentation. And I sit down and start QGIS. So what happens, I should uh, mirror my screen, I think, no? Is that working? I think so. So I have a few uh, QGIS versions here, and if I start, 330, the most beautiful named version. Um, and I start a new project. Let's start to just use that Easter egg. So you double click or three, three times click in the coordinate bar, but that normally shows the coordinates when you move your mouse uh, over the, the map canvas. And I type world, which was the first one. Enter. This is the uh, the world map um, that is that is yeah I don't know that is um, QGIS contains a world map and someone thought when we have a world map anyway it's actually used to if you choose a different coordinate system you see a small map where the where the uh, coordinates or the extent of the system uh, is. Uh, that's why there was a, a, a map, and then someone thought, why not making this Easter egg and show the map? And actually, it's kind of maybe was meant in a funny way, but I use this really often because it's super convenient. If you don't know where your data is, you get whatever shape well from the past, and you open it, and you have some points on your map, and you don't know where. You just type world, you get a world map, and you see where the points go. So it's, um, it's a very nice one. I'm actually in this strange profile here, uh, so I hope everything will, will work. And now I type Hackfest. And you get this. And this was also meant to be funny, I think. It was added six years ago. And you see these things are, are, are turning, which was new back then, because you could have some kind of uh, update, map update every second, and then uh, recalculate the points. Uh, 
which one of you were in uh, Hannes, Johannes' uh, presentation earlier today? So you've seen all the things you can do in, um, in uh, fan fancy stuff using random functions, whatever. This is using it as well, and also the, the, the color of the background is blue now, and it will be purple later, and then red, yellow, green, whatever. So it's, it changes as well. So it's funny that it's, it's made this way, but to me, it also feels kind of, um, has nothing to do with the Hackfest, and why would it be this cross thing? So I wanted to change that. Um, same thing with the, um, the contributors. is actually the same thing. They turn the other way around, and uh, but very similar. But yeah, the data is there, and uh, so I wanted to change that in, into something fun, and then some other developers, they were sitting next to me, and they were coming up with all their IDs, and then it's, it grew into pizzas. So now, let's go there. I start QGIS master, I think it works from 334 or 36, I don't know exactly when it started. So we start um, a more recent QGIS, new project, world, same thing. And then we go to Hackfest and we get pizzas. So, um, yeah, what I did was actually just change the QML file. No programming involved, just, um, uh, it's just a, a simple QML file. And I changed the styling, saved the QML file, did a pull request, and suddenly there were these, um, these pizzas. Also, when you zoom in, they will show the name of, of the place and um, the year, because the data was available as well. Um, yeah, that's it. And... If you go and check the, the styling for this, I really want you to recommend to always use this button here and to open the styling panel. If you do anything styling, don't double click on your layer and get that super dialogue that covers your map and you cannot see what you're doing and you have to press OK to see the difference. Or Use this one because it's so much better. Um, and uh, yeah, here you can see it is a, it's a simple style. These are just um, like these pieces that are layers on top of each other with circles and with uh, triangles in different colors and, and uh, whatever. And in the evening during the Hackfest, we had this social thing with the tram ride and then the dinner and there was an Italian lady and she actually was the, the only Italian that likes uh, pineapple on the pizza and somehow the subject came up and she said, yeah, but I love pineapples on pizza. And we asked her to come to the Hackfest the next, next morning and to uh, change the style in QGIS because she could do that and then add the pineapple. So there are ads by an Italian lady who was not living in Italy, in Italy anymore. So maybe she was expelled by the rest of the Italians because of that. Um, I don't want to dive into the styling because uh, I think uh, Johannes did a super good job in showing uh, what, it, what it's uh, about. But this is a data-driven thing that, uh, that works. Same for the developers, we needed something as well. So these are, uh, no, they are contributors because not developers. And these are smileys now, also made of a yellow circle with the white circle and the black circle and the red uh, smiling face. Um, what is that, bracket or something? Um, but what happens here is if you move the mouse around, the eyes, they will follow the mouse and always look at your cursor. Uh, also done with the, the sign and the cosine thing. Uh, Johannes shows, so there's a, a geometry what is a generator, not even expression that will calculate where the mouse is. You can ask QGIS where is the location of the mouse and then you make a line from the eyes to the mouse and calculate the, um, the direction of that line and then you move the black uh, pupil of the eye to, towards the, the mouse and it will, uh, it will look like that. I think time-wise we don't have that much time. Hey, you should pay attention to the time. 
It's 50, okay, it can be. So if you want to know how this works, I, I, do, I don't think I have time to really explain. Um, but this is all in QGIS. So if you have a recent QGIS, you just open this layer, you go into the style, you can find out uh, what I did because everything is, is here. For example, these are the, the simple marker pupil thing and then you see I use an expression here for the offset. And you can, if you edit it, you get this editor. And here you can find the expression with this, the sine and cosine functions and uh, some transformation done. And I don't know what, I've just been playing around until it worked. They sometimes look a bit creepy or like cross-eyed. Uh, I don't know, I did, uh, it's not perfect yet. So if you find a way to fix that, Hannes, then you can do a pull request <laughs> and uh, make it more, more beautiful. <laughs> Uh, there are also some random functions, like the pizzas are also um, rotated, so they don't all look exactly the same. Uh, they are the same, but they are uh, rotated by the number of the ID in uh, whatever function as well. So those things are there. Um, my main message is uh, uh, that uh, hackfests are really cool to go, and I really hope I convinced some of you to uh, to have a look and to join and to help the QGIS uh, software getting better and, um, and uh, be there. Thank you. Thank you, Ramon. Uh, does anyone have any question? Oh, where is the hand quest tomorrow? It's forbidden to do questions. No, yeah. no, 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 we can do that, of course. Yeah, so where is the pizza? <laughs> Thank you, Raymond. I can see it from here, but do all pizza symbols have pineapple? No, only the Italian. Uh, ah, um, okay. The, yeah, so you can find the function. There is some kind of uh, if if uh, country is in one. There's a, no, it's the town even, I think. Yeah. Yes, you think it needs uh, to be changed or? Uh, no, okay. Just wondering. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Okay. Thank you, uh, Raymond. Um, I'm wondering, what is your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza is uh, is Hawaii, but we it didn't. It's also my favorite Hackfest location, but it <laughs> both didn't happen. <laughs> if there's anyone from Hawaii here, then I would like to to uh, <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> okay. Any other pizza question? <laughs> No, it's lunch time. Yeah, I think it's lunch time. So the hackfest will be tomorrow until Friday. Uh, uh, yeah, the next three days will yeah, the be there. If you want to go there on the main uh, page for the uh, the conference page, there is a, a block around about the, the contributor meeting. And if you want to go there, there's a link. You go there. You go to a GitHub page. You end up in the more nerdy area, maybe. But there's a table on GitHub where you can uh, edit the table, put your name there, uh, which is nice because we will know who is coming and how many people are coming. And also it's nice to sometimes you meet people in a hackfest and you forgot the names and you can go back there and, and find out who they were and, uh, uh, and how you can reach out to them. Okay, yep. thank you very much. And give applause for Raymond from the last time. Thank you.